This is a termite, and today I would like to talk about a few concepts of the Minecraft termite system that I think could be really fun. Now, what we also have here is a concept of mine for a new structure that you could find in the savanna biome, and the story of the structure is that it was supposed to be the start of a small base. However, the termites ended up making it their base instead, which I think tells a unique story, and it would also give the player an indicator of a place that you know the termites will be at if you happen to find the structure. So what do these termites do exactly, you may wonder? Well, besides adding more intriguing life to the savanna biome, these creatures actually do a few different things in their small wooden habitat. Much like the bees of Minecraft, these termites also have a kind of high block that they will travel back and forth to, as we can see here. They also maintain their small wooden habitat by keeping it safe from intruders, and also by chomping on parts of their base, because they are indeed termites. Let's talk about what would make the termites hostile towards the player. Well, they might not like you staying around their base for too long, or even breaking blocks around their wooden habitat. Of course, breaking their high blocks would make them mad, and chopping down too many trees in the savanna biome would do the same. But what if you made them too angry? Well, you would be in for quite a surprise because you would meet the woven termite. Now, the woven termite is a very tough mob that will appear to protect its home when you interfere with its surroundings too many times. And this would not be an easy mob to battle either. This mob would chase after the player and even throw things like wooden blocks to get the player away from... Oh, oh, wait, 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 you can't throw the... You, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh... As I was saying, and as you can see here, the woven termite is rather aggressive, so I don't think it's a very good idea to make it mad. However, making the woven termite upset isn't the only thing that would make it appear. Occasionally, while observing the habitat, you might see it chipping in on the work around the base. Like carrying a fence post. That's important stuff, you know. Now, the woven termite also has a chance to appear holding an item known as what I'm calling the Nod Wooden Sword. It might not look like much. But this is not an ordinary wooden sword. The story of this sword is simple. The sword was left in the barrel by the player who originally built this base. The woven termite then started using it to protect its new habitat, and occasionally chomping bits of the sword off when it's bored. Which I think is sort of funny. But over time, the woven termite has also compressed the wooden sword fibers together by using its pincers. Therefore, making the wooden sword as durable as iron. This crafty termite carefully carved and sharpened this item into the Nod sword that it is today, therefore giving it almost a naturally occurring upgrade, which I really like the idea of. Now, I have a couple more concepts for the Nod sword, but first I would like to talk about what this interesting item is here. I call it a sunken boat post, and the concept is that the sunken boat post has been underwater for so long that it has actually absorbed a lot of salt water into its wooden fibers, therefore changing the flavor of the wood and turning it into a wooden fixture that the termites will be interested in, but won't actually eat because it's far too salty for their liking. And that's why this would make the sunken boat post the ideal item to use as a food container for the termites. I'll explain. So let's say that you actually wanted to be friends with the termites. Well, you could quickly place the sunken boat post near the termite habitat and fill it with a few stacks of wooden planks. The termites will then learn to take the wooden planks from the small door at the bottom of the post. And over time as you continue to take care of your termite companions and refill the sunken boat post, a couple of things will happen. First would be that the termites would actually begin to trust you and allow you to be near their habitat. You'll also from time to time start seeing these pale termite casings around the habitat. These are molting cases that the termites will leave behind as a result of being well taken care of because of you, the player. Now if you actually use a wooden pick to break these casings, you will obtain one of two items. If you use a wooden pick on the smaller termite casing, you will obtain an item known as the small pincer. From the woven termite, you will obtain an item known as the woven pincer. These two items each have a rather unique use. I'll explain. As an added bonus of your new friendship with the termites, you can actually place certain wooden items in the barrel, and the termites will work on them for you, and give you a new unique item to use. <laughs> The termites and woven termite can do this because of their high knowledge of wooden items. So these termites can use wooden fibers to build wooden woven upgrades for you. For example, if you place the gnawed wooden sword and woven pincer in the same barrel, and let's say you wait a few days, once you return and take a look in the barrel, you will find a new item known as the pincer sword. I'll also be talking about a bonus concept in the mellow mode or dark mode version of this video. It's an item known as the wooden termite headpiece, so look out for that. 
whenever it's actually available, that is. Now, when you take a swing, all will seem normal until you notice an additional slash being dealt to your opponent. Basically, the idea is, as you swung your sword, the pincers also pinched your opponent, and it takes a second or so to take effect. Almost like how it is in real life, the effects that termites have on something isn't obvious right away. It's definitely some fantasy logic, but I do still like this idea. I like the concept of whatever type of hit you deal to your opponent being doubled by the pincer sword, which basically means if you land a critical hit, the pincer sword will also deal another critical hit a second later. More on the pincer sword in a bit, but now let's talk about another item that the termites could craft for you. If you place a shield, four wooden planks, a banner, and a woven pincer in the barrel, and wait some time, you will obtain the splinter shield. And this new shield can actually send out small wooden projectiles known as splinters. Now, you can only obtain splinters from the termite habitat blocks, similar to how you can collect honey in a bottle from beehive blocks. And basically over time, the termite will produce splinters that the player could use in the splinter shield. Now, you can actually control which direction the splinters will go. This may seem unlikely to be possible, but similar to real life, a bow can actually curve an arrow to go around a corner if the correct technique is used. But I like this idea because of the new layer it could add to the Minecraft combat system. Now, in terms of how strong the splinters actually are, they of course would need to be balanced as to not make items like the bow pale in comparison. <laughs> Now, what about the small pincer item? What does that do? Well, I like the idea of combinational moves, so let's talk about one for the pincer sword. Take a look at this, and then I'll explain. It's rather fancy, but the basic idea is, before you start this combinational move, the player will use the small pincer item to sharpen their sword. The small pincer item will then break, so you don't want to mess this move up. You will then need to quickly land four slashes followed by a critical hit. This would result in many hearts being dealt if you could land this move successfully. I also quite like the idea of needing to use the small pincer item before you can even perform this combo, which means you can only do this combo if you have the small pincer item. And you'll need multiple of them if you want to use this combo often. I like this concept for the pincer sword because it has some balance and is quite rewarding. Now let's talk about the more exciting concept for the splinter shield. Have a look at this and then I'll explain. So basically, if the player blocks at just the right time, the splinter shield will then grind up the arrow into a fine wooden dust. And when you launch this dust, it will act as an indicator for the woven termite to jump out and battle alongside you, and chase after whatever you've coated in the fine wooden dust. Once the woven termite feels that you've won the battle, it will then retreat back underground. I think this idea is really fun and gives the woven termite a unique and unorthodox companion function that we haven't really seen before in Minecraft. I really like the idea of fantasy-like things and creative concepts being added to Minecraft as I'm sure you've seen. I had no idea that I would end up with such an expansive concept for a termite concept video.